seconds left. I think they might be reading this, Heretics, but are they ready for it? 25 seconds. It's go time. Woot's turn, he spotted it. Flash is there, it slowed him down a little bit if he's overwhelmed. Leo's gonna find Woot. It's Finny Boo on the trade out, still focused towards main. Took away the TP, but he's still trying to stand his ground. 13 seconds, spikes on the site, and there's three alive for Heretics. Ten seconds the reverse left. sweep becoming a reality at this point. Benji Fishy, Boo, Rienz. You gotta find something here, because Fnatic have this game in their palm. Benji going for the flank, he's gonna hit this tripwire, but the body yeah. is there at A main. He wants to get the hat. Wait, he gets over the trip. Okay. The trip is dead, <laughs> Alpha's dead. That's true. Call me out on that, please. It's fine, because look, at, they still have to get past four players who are playing in this pit. The time is running low, they gotta get a move on. Dirk has gotten down, there's still a chance here. But Bosa, Chronicle in unison, leaving it all in one man's hands. Fnatic are your VCT EMEA split. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Good news, everyone. Fnatic are back. They're back, everybody. Uh, good news if you're a Fnatic fan. Not so good if you're anyone else. Uh, because they were 2-0 down against Team Heretics. They lost on Sunset. They lost on Bind in overtime. But then they won Lotus. One split and one Breeze. And we're going to take a look at the most dominant of the map, Split, where really Fnatic, I thought turned up in a big big way we're actually going to take a look at their attack side but you can see that their defense side was also flawless here so it was a really really good map now let's start with the pistol round here and look i've been critical of Fnatic and this comp that they run because to me there's not necessarily a problem with their comp um but some of the roles i think you know like could chronicle play raise and alpha play cypher and then we have you know more comfort maybe than we would uh with chronicle and cypher alpha and raise maybe i don't know um and you know is this a very fanatic comp with double duelist breach is that something that fanatic you know you don't think fanatic you don't think that kind of comp necessarily but they played it really well in this one really really well starting with the pistol round which is more of a fanatic style round this is a crazy round that you're about to see um and just watch the manipulation of the map here right so what do we start off with we start with destroying the camera on a we got three players out here towards a and what are they going to do they're going to put a cypher cage across uh, just there to allow chronicle and durka to cross across across the ramp we put the camera up there we send the fake yoro clone out here as well we're creating a lot of pressure right but you can see now dirk is about to tp where's he going to tp to all the way back to b He's coming all the way back to B. So we take on and show some kind of early ramp presence just here, right? And then we're TPing all the way back to B, okay? So away we go. So what are we doing from here? Now, normally, if I, uh, at this point, right, I was thinking, oh, they're now going to do a B split, right? These guys are going to group up, come mid. These guys are going to come towards mid. These two are going to come B main. We're going to end on B. No problem, right? That's that's surely what the round is going to be. And that's after a while what heretics start to think the round is going to be, right? Like, oh, we've seen this Yoro clone, but there's nothing else there. You know, this dog is then going to come out towards mid as well, right? And that sees nothing. We get the smoke here from Boaster. So he's selling this story as well. You know, we're selling the story that, hey, we're coming B now as well, right? We're going to breach stun. Like, hey, we're coming B, right? All signs point to this is a B hit. And that's what Team Heretics think as well, right? Look at the map. Four players on B. They're ready for this B hit. They're, they got there in time. Good for you, Team Heretics. But this is where Fnatic are smart because now we're just going to chill. We're just going to take an ult orb and take a look. We're not going to move. Because here's the thing. We have taken a ramp earlier in this round, right? And you've just fully rotated to B. So this is a problem for you because what if we left someone there? What if someone is in here, right? And they're walking up here or something, right? It's going to make heretics think, oh, no, they left someone on A and they're actually going back to A. And that is what heretics think after a while, right? They're like, after everything goes quiet and the pause comes in, heretics start to get a little nervous. They're worried, right? Like, Benji can't really move here because someone could be. You see, he's checking. He's checking to see if someone's walking heaven because they've lost that control. And so now they start walking and the pause is just such a wonderful call here, right? And then the smoke comes in on A as well. And then again, we are selling this story and the story makes sense for heretics, right? Like, oh yeah, they came and took this and, you know, then they faked us here and now they're actually coming A and the smoke's in here, right? The story makes sense. You're telling a believable story here, Fnatic. So then heretics, they start to rotate towards the A site. Now, the crucial part in this round is Alpha though, because Alpha then does come up ramp. And this, I think, saves the round. Because at this point, after they've seen this smoke heretics, but then they haven't heard anything else, they start to get a little sus sus suspicious again, I can't even say it, that actually, no, this isn't this. This is a B hit. 
right? And so heretics start to figure it out. But the thing is, Alpha, because he gets to this vision, he's going to hear these guys. So these guys actually probably would have caught these guys out had Alpha probably not told them like, oh, they're coming back to you. You need to fight this, right? They're not going to give that up for free. And so then we get this BX coming in. And it's a really nice round, though, from Fnatic of telling a believable story. But the flash on Rians could shut this all down. Oh my god, the timing on this is everything. The pop flash, and now they're in the heels of them. But Chronicle turns in time. Two quick kills, and he's still holding this one back. Boaster picks up the mantle, and it's perfect from Fnatic. Just Benji left here in a 1v4. They played that to perfection. Benji, yeah, not a chance in hell. Next round, round number three here, the bonus round. Fnatic are actually going to lose this round, but we're going to see the first of many BXX we're going to see that was extremely powerful for Fnatic. Looking at this, like, maybe you've got plans in mind. I'm really hoping we see that. It'd be lovely. And obviously then it puts the test back to Heretics. This is a really big opportunity, though, to start that scoreboard looking a little dangerous. If Fnatic do get this, convert that. Look at this. Bonus is nuts. It's basically a full buy. You can't be sneering at that and patience being shown quiet across the map here this is something we don't see that often from benji he's got a, a trip for boo and a trip for woot one in mid one in b normally he plays a and here comes the b hit and alpha's made it past benji has caught him though that's not bad but a good trade dirk are gonna be that kind of like second pronged it's that one two punch fanatic are in now spike on the way that's gonna be planted looking for a contest pretty not gonna find it maybe the dog maybe a pain shell at most nothing should deny that now See him creeping a bit closer here. There's that pain shell. Leo's in a little bit of a predicament. Not much to be done about it. Has to give up the ghost. And now a 3v3. And it's starting to look better for Heretics clearing through the site. Now we look at the back line. Bosa turns the flash and they are down low. Rien's fine. Chronicle, it's all in his hands. 1v3, that's the first. Needs more. TP gets away. Oh, no! another! You thought. Ooh, I was a believer. <laughs> okay, so Fnatic do lose the rounds. And the post plant maybe wasn't the best, but let's just take a look at this initial site exec because this is really, really good by Fnatic again, right? So we come in at the start and we get past the one way, right? This is a thing with this omen one way. Like for me, if teams are going to do this and it's going to be a big part of that game, like you have to, you know, be willing to defend it because I think a lot of teams, you know, know that they can beat that timing and they can just get past it a lot of the time. Um, and Fnatic do that right here, right? But it's not just this. And you would think that Fnatic, yeah, with the comp they've got, it is just going to be a lot of, you know, XX. They're playing double duelist with a breach, right? Like that would make sense for their comp. But they don't do it off the rip very often, right? They they make you wonder what the timing is actually going to be. And take a look at this again, because again, we're going to try and make sure that those rotates aren't coming into this B site, right? So when Durka sends out his TP, he's just sent out his gate crash here that's going to come towards the back site. We'll talk that, about that in a bit. He's also sending out the clone in mid. Boaster is also going to smoke off towards male here as well, right? So we're making this feel like, oh, we're, we're actually in mid, right? Like we're just chilling. We're in mid, right? So that these guys are going to stay here, right? Just off the back of the clone, this one smoke right here, right? When we're taking this B site, you know, particularly if we're already, you know, we know that they aren't going to be rotating super fast. They're not going to have any hint that we've actually done this because we silently walked into B main here. We know that, like, do we need the second smoke to smoke off this? Because probably no one's going to be there in time, you know, by the time we're doing this exit, because why would they have rotated, you know, through spawn back here, right? So we really only need the heaven smoke. So again, just details, good stuff. And then here's the thing, right? We've got Durka doing his little lineup for this flash, which I'm not even sure exactly where that goes, right? But here's the problem for Boo. And Boo is going to have a lot of problems on this B site as Omen, right? Because you commonly see an Omen defend this. But the problem is, with this Eurogate crash coming back here, where do you send your Omen flash? Right? Because normally, against pretty much any other agent, you stand back here or back here, they come in, you Omen flash, it hits everyone, it's, it destroys an exec, you win the round. But against a Yoru, with this coming back here, well, if you Omen Flash this way, that's not going to catch Yoru. And maybe you get stunned by the Breach, or maybe you get caught by a, an Omen Flash as well, like I'm, I think he does here, right? I'm not 100% sure, but I think he does. They send the Aftershock in as well. Okay, Alpha hits a trip, right? A bit unlucky. He hits a trip. He dies to Benji. Okay, whatever. But then we get Durka coming back sight, and now he, with the Flash from the Breach, is able to kill Benji trying to flood out, right? And Benji's trying to flood out, but look, no one else is, is here yet. Right, and we're on the site. So because of this little delay that we caused in here, you know, everyone else is still far away. And this is what I mean. This omen flash comes out from Boo now. But this omen flash isn't really doing that much. Right? Yeah, it's flashing Durka. 
But Durka can just chill back in here, right? And no one's going to kill him. Right? He's going to live this Omen Flash. That's the important thing. And so the Omen Flash is going to come out. But you can't swing all this way out because you're just going to die from the other people coming the other way. And that's what happens to Boo anyway, right? That he's worried about Durka. And so he tries to swing out. But Boaster's already here with the TP onto the site. He gets the kill. Again, little details of this. Really, really nice. And this BXEC, you know, okay, they didn't play the post blank great as we saw. But this B exec was really, really difficult for Team Heretics to stop. Okay, very next round, round number four. And we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing, right? Again, we aren't sending this off the rip. We are waiting. We are patient. Again, we're walking into B main for free. We know we can take this space for free, so we will, right? We're just going to come and take it from you. We gained some information about who's playing where and whatnot. But we're going to get the call to just basically go and do the same B exec in just a second. Again, Dirk is going to come here and send out this clone. I mean, it's it's pretty much the exact same. There's just going to be one little tiny variation, and that is that Boaster is going to smoke in towards Vents rather than in towards Mail just here. But it's the same thing of creating pressure. You see Dirk again. He's going to get his uh, lineup for the Yoru, uh, Yoru uh, TP just there. We smoke off Mail. We send this clone in towards Mid. So again, we're creating pressure in towards mid, trying to keep these guys here, make sure that this guy isn't just looking this way anyway as we're, as we're coming in, which again, clever stuff, right? And Fnatic, here they go again, right? We're going to send out this flash from Durka just here. One one little thing I do want to note as well is that this is something they do on Breeze as well. They give Durka the spike, right? And, and that to me shows like a level of confidence of they know this exec is probably going to work and they want to give Durka the spike, not just so he can get the ultos, but also so that he can get the plant down super fast, right? So that there is real time pressure there of, hey, I'm TPing in, we're going to get this first kill, we're then going to get the spike down straight away. So, you know, there's a real time pressure on these guys rotating that you, when you're starting this retake, you have to go now, right? You have to go straight away by the time you get there because the spike's already been ticking for 15 seconds, right? So... Uh, it's just clever stuff. And then this time, hey, they know we've seen this Euro TP now, right? So where is Boo likely to react to that, given what just happened in the last round? He's likely to play somewhere like this so that he can come and deal with this Euro TP on his own, right? So we know that. So instead of sending the Omen Flash down here like we did last time, this time we're going to send it down this way and it's going to blind Boo. And with Alpha coming in as well, he doesn't get hit by the trip this time. He's going to get the kill. Here comes the B exec. We saw this from Fnatic a couple times. I think it's two or three times. So, so little safety in this. And you can see what it does is there's no safety on the site. Alpha clears Boo, and now they can get the plant down. It's, it's beautifully constructed. Planted. Now, does Heretics try and find their way back in? They can prioritize trying to clear Chronicle, but if he just shoulders this at the right time, that's a time buyer. Doesn't need to do too much. He does get held back. <laughs> Doesn't even try to stop to take a fight. He's like, I'm out of here. Yep. I'm going to waste your time. That's all he needs to do. But but Heretics are on the site with four players. They pop flash towards back of the site. They're looking pretty okay for that, but Alpha's going to be catching the cross. A little bit of a back and forth. Fnatic are looking rock solid in this. Heretics getting none of what they wanted here. Chronicle's presence finally giving me notice as well. Just as that kind of safety net. If anything else goes wrong, he's there. It's fine. And he can even catch his players trying to back away. re -ends, opens up safe passage so they can get away with the rifles. And that's all they're going to get away with. Fnatic showing off that sight take, Josh. It is so beautifully done. Now let's take a look at this round, round number five. So the very next round, right? And again, what do Fnatic know? They know, oh, you've been struggling in B main. You've been giving us B main for free pretty much all this time. So what are we going to do this time? Well, normally our Cypher is defaulting over towards A, but our Cypher is actually over here towards B. Do you know why? Because we know that you're probably going to try and get aggressive in B main. We know what your reaction is likely to be. And so we are going to punish it like this. Third kind of solution for all these B hits from Fnatic. That's going to be what Team Heretics needs to diagnose. Okay, Flash, Paranoia, Paint Shell, and re -ends. Oh. oh, it's so dirty to try and play against it. Leo's oh, even got no. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? The prediction power of, like, we know what your response is going to be. So here is something very, very different that you haven't seen before to come and counter it. And again, this is like Prime Fanatic last year, right? Where... All of our ideas are really good. We are one, two steps ahead of you in terms of what you are going to do. And we know exactly how to counter that. 
Next one, round number six, and this one is just a variation on that on that B idea again, right? We come and we take B main early on in the round again. And we don't see any omen smoke this time. A bit of a clue that the omen is actually over towards A. And look, heretics, they're starting with about as heavy as a B lean as you can get, right? We got the cipher stuff here, and we got two other players here as well. Like they were saying you ain't going B this round. And I think still won't be this round and they still won, but they did it in a very different way, right? Because we got this little uh, bait setup here from Wooties jumping around, making noise, you know, hoping that they, you know, maybe try and swing into him there, you know, try and pick him off as he's going there. But we're going to get this. We're going to get the Yoru ult, right? Very different kind of look coming out from Fnatic, but we've already taken B main. This is something I, I really like when we use the Yoru ult, you know, to kind of create presence and pressure down one way when we've already got the kind of control here and we come and do a B split, you know, with the Yoru ult. You know, giving us that information of what's really going on, you know, elsewhere. You know, whilst we come and do a B exec, I think it's a, it's just a good way of using the Euro Uh, you know, to give you maximum information of what you're about to do. So again, we're creating pressure in mid here. You know, it does look like Chronicle wants to follow Durka here, right? Like he wants to come up this way and follow him. Unfortunately, this it's it's a little too hot. There's a bit too many players there for him, I think. And so he realizes like, oh, you know, that's probably not the best idea. Because when Durker is coming here onto the site, you know, he's going to start seeing like, oh, there's a, there's a lot of people here. But it doesn't dissuade Fnatic, right? They just think, okay, well, with the Yoru ult, we can still do this because we're going to see right now. Alpha, he's going to blast back in just here. Durker, he's going to run into CT. And then we're going to get Omen Flash. We're going to get Breach done. The Breach done destroys both of these players on site. Alpha's coming from one side. Durker's then coming from the other side. They're getting pinched on on the site. It is unbelievable. That's a fight. Oh dear. Seekers. Oh, he's getting chased by the Seekers. But Alpha is in there. Look at this. The push and the pull so perfect. Dirk is going to find Rianz. He saw everything. This is poetry in motion. And Heretic still not getting a grip on this yet. They need to stop it somehow. It's a good start by taking down Durka, but they need a bit more. And Woot. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Thought uh, Leo had him dead to rights. Now Leo might be dead. Okay, okay, and uh, I mean, drags him to his grave, but it's 3v2. Minibu with a second lease of life, but Alpha closes down what he started with. Okay, and then the last one I'll show you here, which is round number nine. And this one, again, is just this same B exec, really. There isn't too much else to say about this. This is going to be Prime Fnatic in a bit of a different way, though, and you'll see what I mean. But again, same kind of stuff, right? We come and take B main this time. Heretic's playing kind of, you know, full retake B. Uh, essentially, which, you know, I mean, they're on a kind of a little half by here, so, you know, it, it maybe makes some sense, but they don't see anything towards A. They start to drift towards B, right? They get the right read. Here comes Durka doing his little lineups again, right? He's going to be doing this, but yeah, what you're about to see after this, and again, like, you know, the timing for Heretics, again, we get the smoke in here, right? We're creating pressure in mid as if we're going to come and do some kind of mid play, but in reality, we're just, we're just coming B main. But what you're about to see is, uh, yeah, very reminiscent of last year's Fnatic for quite a different reason. The paranoia, the Yoru flash, everything to the back of the site, but they're playing off the site this time, Team Heretics. Yeah, suddenly so back in a little early though, and I quite like that, but he does get past the Just Amos, dead. like that! Oh, oh is he good! Four quick kills, back to back! That's disgusting. They want it, he's grinning already, there's a reason <laughs> he's the wonder kid. Look what he can do. Gotta find him though. Play the game of where is Boo? Where are they hiding my ace? <laughs> Alpha's having a wonder. Last time uh, Chronicle had four, Leo stole it. Here we it. go. Alpha, yep. on for it. Oh! <laughs> Boo, you heartbreaker. Dex goes back anyway, but can we, can we get that replay in just like half speed? I feel like I blinked and I missed half of it. 